Hello, I'm Karen Ridges from Veggie Vision TV and today I'm going to be showing you some healthy cooking tips. Today I'm going to show you how to bake a butternut squash, a really super tasty vegetable. One again that's very versatile because you can boil it, make it into a gorgeous soup. You can chop it up and add it to a curry or a stir fry or you can simply enjoy it chopped in half and roasted in the oven and that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. So first of all we just snip off the stalk at the end and then we're going to chop it down the middle. So now you simply scoop out the seeds, which do come out quite easily. Simply use a big spoon and some of the flesh will come out. And if some of the stringy stuff's still there, it really doesn't matter because it does taste really nice. The great thing about squash, any squash, is that you can just leave them on the side of your counter for months really. They keep for a really long time. Now, what I like to do is simply have them as they are. I like to add a dash of olive oil. You can use hemp seed oil as well. Sprinkle with some um, salt or some ground pepper or a bit of both. And I also like to add some alkalized or filtered water just in the bottom of the pan and this is a nice tip that I really love to pass on because the water goes back into the vegetable and you don't lose the flavour and you don't lose the moisture either. So we pop these into the oven, check them in about half an hour and on about 200 degrees. So our um, butternut squash has been roasting for about 25 minutes, half an hour. We checked it halfway through and it was looking really good and golden. So let's go to the oven now and see if it's all cooked. Now if you have used my tip and added water to the butternut squash, you will see that there is water in the little dip in the hole in the butternut squash and that's fine just be careful when you're eating it because of course it could be really hot pop on your plate there one butternut squash is easy enough for two people as you can see and with that have a lovely big salad um, maybe with a ton of raw spinach with fresh sweet corn grated sweet potato, grated carrot, drizzle over with some lemon juice, add a little bit of pepper, maybe add a dash of uh, soya sauce as well. And there you have it, a really tasty and filling meal and an easy way of how to cook a butternut squash. <laughs> 